We did um, stereotypes and um, why they have yeah, stereotypes, the way we present ourselves and the way culture made us out to be, <coughs> black celebrities present themselves like icons. And um, for solutions, we have presenting positive outlooks for our culture, highlighting our actual differences, like not like being what, like playing basketball, latest Jordan, not saying that that's bad, but you know, be a little bit different. Like me personally, I go to a school of 50 kids, it's a military school, and um, there's like a group of black people and they act really, really stereotypical. And then um, there's like me, and then like, they call me a Klondike bar because of, like the way I dress, the music I listen to, the way I speak, the way I present myself, things like that. So, yeah. While we were doing this, we kind of lost sight of the whole uh, multiple. It's we took, we, we tried to shoot down this grave idea of the African American figure being seen as a negative annotation. And so we were trying to figure out what we could do to wipe that away. And so we said, the reason why we're, we're it seems that the lower African American class is so oppressed right now, it's because a sequence of reoccurring negative chronological events that have been passed down from previous generations have been openly accepted by our generation. And uh, we figured uh, one of the only ways to really fix that would be to uh, almost just break down this image that we have right now and try to build it up with like a uh, proper image of what the African American should be. So in other words, take these reoccurring events and like just have a rip right in those events to stop it from continuing and trying to uh, teach the people who have been affected by these events and who could even be the cause of these events teach them differently and to where they could stop it and hopefully they teach somebody else. And so we start building up a positive chain of events. Hopefully that circulates and then you have a nicer view of that from the American man, even at a lower level. So when you talk about redefining that, that, that setting a different kind of event, setting some different positive events in, in order, that means that you need to be mentored. That means that you need to be telling a little dude in the street, like, nah, you can't, don't say that. That's not cool. Because I'm getting too old. They looking at me like, nah, who you? Right? If you chilling and you, your little brother's looking up to you and they saying they grabbing, they like, yeah, little Wayne, he the man. Like, what? Like, you tripping. Get on Cornell. Get on Cornell West. Read this. Read this. Get on this. But if you right in it, like, you know the word, you know nigga is, you know you don't supposed to say it, and you just like, yeah, man, but I'm chilling on my mans and I'm man, man, and he's like, it's tripping. Then you have lowered the standard. If you know the disrespect the woman is crazy, then you better tell, listen to everything your mother say. Like if she, if she is the if she is the queen, and you got sisters walking around like this, and you like, nah, you not that queen. Excuse me, queen. Can you come in for a second? Right? It sounds different, and they're gonna be like, oops, you're calling the queen, right? But they're going to get used to it. 
if you want to set the standard. But the only way you're going to set the standard is if you man up. And you say, I'm opposite. If you say, like, yeah, hey, well, I'm a Klondike, yeah, but I'm chilling. But I sit down and eat lunch with you, though. Straight up. I'm going to sit down and eat lunch with you. Like, so we can, so you can understand who I really am. So you're not just looking at surface. I'm going to sit down and chill with you. Talk to you. I'm going to bring you over to them folks that I roll with. I'm going to put you on the cold plate. Listen to this. <laughs> Lil Wayne like it. Like, listen to this. Like, but it's, we got to be able to just be like, I'm, I'm cool enough to be cool with all of y'all. And at the same, in the same instance, not forgetting that. And it's, it's amazing because this is exactly like, like y'all think we're just like me. It's not to forget because this is the whole historical perspective. Because there's a reason why you're doing it. And it ain't to say, oh, slavery doesn't matter. Yes, it does. We've been slaves in this country for over 400 years. Brought and sold. Identities taken. Taken from homes. Given different names. We have European names and we're Africans. Given different religions. Ripping families apart. Taking your son and selling him old. Son. That's why we got family in the South. That matters. Right? But it's not like, I can't succeed because slavery. Like, no, it ain't happening no more. But you have to take it into account. Your children have to know about it. Jews know about the Holocaust. This happened for over four years. You don't even know. We don't even know Africa. I, you African American, give me 10 presidents of Africa right now. Right? You know 10? You see what I'm saying? But this is what I'm talking about. Like, so we first have to know self have to know our history, then be willing to be men and stand up and go against the grain. And it is hard, and I'm telling you from somebody who try to go against the grain. It is not easy. This is not an easy life. This is not easy. When everybody else drinking and you like, I'm chilling. Everybody else blazing in college and you like, I'm chilling. I'm all right. I'm all right. Everybody else disrespecting women, sleeping with them, like, nah, I'm gonna go get married. It's a hard life. And then you turn on the TV, and man, this is getting money, like, uh, uh, old up. And you like, dang, my perception is all mixed up. And it's normal, right? So you got to go against the grain. You got to be men. And that is the job <coughs> of the black man. That's our essence. We set trends. We do that. We do that. That's why everybody else trying to be like us. We set the trends. We all were divinely created by the creator. No one understand that first. And everything else falls into place. Because if you know you're divine, you ain't going to walk up to your queen, the girl who, you, who made you, who you came out of, and call her a bitch. Because I'm divine and I came out of you, which makes you divine. Okay, now we have a divine family. Right? You understand what I'm saying? All right, so that's who, understand who we are naturally. By nature, we are kings. 